Now the handoff to Sibley. Huge hole to run through inside of Miami territory before being dropped for another first down. First time they've gone to the run game all game long. He's a guy, he took a wildcat snap last week. Not really the guy who does it out of the pistol formation. Most of the top Sibley on that first down pickup. His first drive of the game continues on first down. Yellow now getting flustered and gets sacked. Had plenty of time. That's a coverage sack, Mark, isn't it? Tries to get out of his own end zone for a punt. Miami showing pressure. They bring it. Vincent Davis tries to run through it and can't do anything. Oh, Still on his back. feet as he was dropped back, but it's just going to mean he gets hammered again. It's Miami starts rattling off some first downs. They'll move quicker and quicker. King now faking the draw. Going to his running back out of the backfield. Harris is going to walk into the end zone. Great, fantastic play call. They saw Pitt line up in zone. Really good play. Watch as number 36, Chase Pine, gets sucked up on the play action play. And the running back, Cameron Harris, just able to leak out of the backfield. Good sell by Derek King right over top. That's a wide open touchdown play. Team quarterback pressures on the season. On second down. King again to throw. This time he's going up top. As a receiver one-on-one, -on -one, almost a great catch. Unfortunately, D. Wiggins couldn't hang on. Good coverage by Hamlin, the safety. Harris tries to sidestep a defender. Can't do it. Really nice job on the tackle by John Morgan. And A.J. Davis, the senior from Lakeland, Florida, getting an opportunity now as he's close to 100% healthy, but... Doesn't have very far to go that time. Corey Flagg, another true freshman on this Miami defense. Team with the give up the middle. Good read. Harris almost broke it into the end zone, but it'll be first and goal for the Canes. Tamar Hamlin just saving the touchdown for Pitt. That fresh back is Knight. King fakes it to him, and he gets dumped immediately. Phil Campbell from that linebacker position. Third and goal becomes a first and goal now from the four. Harris bounces it outside. Can't escape the mittens of Rashad Weaver. We've already seen him with those meat hooks knock down a couple of passes, Mark. And now he got a handful of Harris' jersey and wouldn't let go. Another one of those South Florida products on Pitt's team. He's from Fort Lauderdale. Second and goal. King out to his tight end. Mallory stretches for the goal line and finds it. Will Mallory, 85. We're used to seeing a lot of number nine, Brevin Jordan, but Will Mallory, as we talked about in the open every single week, good hesitation by number 85, Will Mallory, found his way over to the end zone. And good job finding the open receiver by yelling on that last play. Now trying to run it in the red zone and nothing doing. Vincent Davis couldn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. As he was brought down by a couple of Canes, including Quincy Roche, and there's Jared Harrison Hunt again. This one from 33 yards to put the Panthers on the board, and he gets it inside that upright. So Pitt finally strikes at the 243 mark here in the second quarter. Touchdown would have been nice, but at least getting on the board, Mark, is important for this Pitt team without Kenny Pickett today. King quickly, that one's up for grabs, and it's intercepted. That's Paris Ford. 15, still on his feet, down to the 12. Huge play for the senior, or the junior, rather, from Pittsburgh. A uh, huge play by Paris Ford. Preseason All-American, preseason All-ACC player. He was a five-star recruit coming out of high school, and maybe none bigger than this. And watch the ball as it's tipped at the line of scrimmage. It floats up, and he's able to attack it from downhill. And little move he got tackled by the quarterback Blake Zubovic who is a tight end officially at 84 is really a tackle wearing number 84 Davis can't even get back to the line of scrimmage wow yeah great great play by Miami defensive this one will be from 24 yards he hit from 33 just moments ago this one down and through return and then on the interception by D.R. King have led to two scores Look, King avoiding the rush on the first play of this second half and picks up a first down. That's really been Miami's most successful play on offense, just letting King do things with his legs when it breaks down. Just to the arms up in the air like, what? You're not going to throw the flag? We'll get used to it. Pressure on the edge. King steps up, gets away from it, has a receiver wide open. That's Harley. Spins his way into the end zone. 
Good job by De'Ara King to find the bust in coverage. And good job, De'Ara King, stepping up, finding space in the pocket, and just a wide open receiver for Mike Harley all the way down for a touchdown for the Hurricanes. The biggest thing, we've got to eliminate the sacks. Yellow now can run if he chooses to. Instead, he throws down field, has his receiver open. That's Addison, 20. Brought down near the 10-yard line. Behind Yellen, under center. Turner trying to get outside. That play was read perfectly by the defense, and Quincy Roche gave him no shot. 36 yards for Alex Kessman. He is now the all-time leader in pit history and field goals made. And Pitt puts three more on the board. Damari Mathis, they've been without him all year. Defensive back, Keyshawn Camp, defensive tackle. Wendell Davis, a linebacker. They're missing a lot of players due to injury. King's going to go down. Harley in motion. King to pass. Pitt brings just four. And it's intercepted. That's Williams. Will he get to the end zone? Knocked out of bounds at the one-yard line by De'Ara King. Hecker back through the middle of the field, and the corners just sat on the outside. This is a throw that De'Ara King would never make first cover two if he had known it was cover two from the start, but great, great job. The fake to Sibley. The toss to the end zone. Easy pitch and catch. Daniel Moraga finally hits Pater for the Panthers. Well, enough of this pounding our head against the wall from the one-yard line. We're going to play fake. Miami sells out against the run and really good poise under pressure by Joey Yellen who has turned starter Daniel Moraga to pull this one in for six. Miami brings just four. Yellen steps up. Now he's going to get sacked. Ball comes free too. It looks Roche like Miami has it, recovered. Yeah. Roche came out of there with the football. That's a huge turnover. And to go the distance, they've gotten bogged down. But they've been able to put the ball in the end zone when they have these 40, 50 yard drives. But this is not going to start very well for the Canes. Another sack. And DeAndre Jules is involved. A lot of guys making impact defensively for Pitt. Dayon Hayes is one of them, true freshman. Over the top again, the tight end. Mallory will have an easy lane into the end zone. Well, if it's working, might as well go back for it. We saw the same exact play from Miami on the first touchdown. It was Cameron Harris who snuck out of the backfield. This time, it was their big tight end, Will Mallory. How well he's going to play. Well, look at him in the backfield. He just sneaks out on a vertical route. You call that a pipe play when it's a running back? We called it yogurt when I was playing for New York Giants where... It's just a wide go. Why is the tight end? Why go right down the middle of the field? Yogurt for six points. There you go, Will Mallory. Miami answering Pitt's 10-point run. Yellen going deep. Tried to get it to Turner. Really well covered that time. Nine penalties for 84 yards now in the game for Pitt. First and 20. Yellen has time downfield, has a receiver open. Wayne makes the catch. Close to midfield. Yards on this one. Inside that left upright. Four for four is the senior. Pitt bringing pressure again. King sidesteps it. Oh, now makes a fantastic move, but just could not keep his feet. Yeah, averaging 31 yards per play on scoring plays, and those are, that signals busted coverage for me from Pitt defensively. Look at King, what a gorgeous move. Perfect on the season, seven for seven. You see Pitt on balance line as they try to get to it, and they cannot. Borregales converts. Miami brings pressure, yelling down the sideline. Almost an outstanding catch by Addison. At the end of the day, the firepower for Miami, just they ran too many plays, and Pitt wasn't able to stop them on every single one of them.
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.